we can secure our borders without tearing kids away from their parents. Joe and I come from different backgrounds, but we became brothers. And as we worked together for eight, sometimes pretty tough years, what I came to admire most about Joe wasn't just his smarts, his experience, it was his empathy and his decency and his hard nose. It's easier to play on people's fears and cynicism, always has been. They will tell you that government is inherently corrupt, that, that sacrifice and generosity are for suckers. Didn't aspire to be wealthy. In fact, they were suspicious of folks who took more than they needed. They understood that it wasn't enough for their kids to thrive if everyone else around us was drowning. So my mother volunteered at the local school. She, she Until recently, I have mourned the dimming of that hope. And maybe you've experienced the same feelings, is that deep pit in my stomach, a palpable sense of dread about the future. Whether you're Democrat, Republican, Independent, or none of the above, this is our time. We got 70 days to act right, y'all. That's right. Now, after seven days, we can go back there and crazy. <laughs> right? Yeah. So psyched to see all of you. I decided instead of the MAGA movement, we're going to start the MAMA movement. That is Make America, Michigan, and Minnesota again. Listen, I think that Kamala Harris is weak. I think that she is a liberal, and I think that that's the key to the election right there. I mean, if you want the border open, 15 million illegals in this country, if you want them getting amnesty, and if you want to pay for their health care, then Kamala is your candidate. But if you want your children to be safe, if you don't want drugs on our streets, if you want your kids to be able to walk to the bus stop without getting shot, you better vote Trump. I mean, I think that this is a, an election about really basic choices, safety or chaos, the border closed or amnesty for 15 million illegals, your family getting ahead or your family ground into poverty. I mean, that's really the choice here. And the choice is clear, I think, for all of those issues, it's got to be Trump.